Hi, my name is Bernard Sheridan from Impact Zone Golf, and today we're going to take a look at the swing of Brooks Kepka, who is the winner of the U.S. Open 2017, tying the record that Rory created uh, with 16 under in the U.S. Open. And um, what a great swing he has, and powerful. So let's take a look. So here he's hitting a fairway wood. And takeaway, real nice takeaway. Club is very much in front of him. And, and a lot of you players out there, I want you to notice how Brooks gets this shaft a little bit more vertical on his way back. And he loads the club really well at the top. Late loader. Now, the other thing that I want you to notice here is how square his hips are at the top in relationship to his shoulders. Now, that's how he really builds a lot of power, really torques up that torso, and creates a lot of ground force. The other thing that I want you to notice is that back knee is flexed. Okay, so now he can use that to push off the ground to create ground force. And that's also very, very important. Now, because he took that shaft up just a little bit vertical, as he starts to push off the ground and move towards that target, a little bit of lateral motion there, starts to get a bow in his lead wrist there because the club is dropping. Now the club just kind of falls into place. And notice how the plane that it's going back down on is much shallower than it was coming up. So now already, just as his lead arm is just getting parallel to the ground, he already is starting to open his hips. And now as he's starting to rotate down, he's maintaining that lag tremendously. That back heel is just starting to come off the ground. And now he rotates that torso, that workhorse, into impact. And bang. There is impact. Hips are well open. Shoulders are fairly, fairly square. And heel is off the ground. Most of his weight and pressure is on that front foot. Now as he pivots around that front leg, that club releases. I want you to notice how that face starts to close. It does not hold open down the target line. I see so many players who lose the ball right. They try to steer that, that club face and keep it straight down the target line. That's, and that has to rotate as you come through. It's not a function of you throwing your hands over. It's a function of your body rotating that will let that club rotate. The hips do stall in that time frame and then continue to move on through and that lead shoulder gets all the way to the target and that heel is well up and that belt buckle is facing left of the target about 45 degrees. So these are some things that you can try to work on to help your swing Get that shaft just a little bit more vertical on the way back. And you're going to find that it's going to be easier to get it flatter on the way down. As long as you push off your back foot, have a slight lateral slide towards the target, and then rotate. Letting your torso or your workhorse carry your arms and the club into impact. So for Impact Zone Golf, I'm Bernard Sheridan. We congratulate Brooks on, a, on an incredible win. And until we meet again, do your best to keep it in the short grass. Remember, it's all about impact. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for great videos every week, tearing down the swings of tour pros and giving you great tips and also Breaking Par, the podcast, the video version is on our YouTube channel every single week with some of the brightest minds in golf.
being interviewed. So we'll see you next time. Are you tired of hitting poor shots and shooting high scores? Wouldn't it be nice to make solid, consistent contact more often? Hit more fairways off the tee and more greens with your approach shots. Lower your three putts per round and shoot lower scores consistently. Lessons with Bernard Sheridan at Impact Zone Golf at Tiburon Golf Club in Naples is the fastest way to lower your scores and start making the game fun again. Call 239-236-5536 and schedule your lesson today. Remember, if you improve your impact, you improve your game. It's that simple.